This is my second time today out here filling all these waters up. The animals are just going through it so fast. So when temperatures get this high, tomatoes do not ripen on the vine. So this one right here is going in the house with me. So you see how easily it broke on the stem right there? That is the tomato's natural disengagement from the plant. This is one of the facts about tomato ripening on the vine versus in the house that most people don't even know about. But because that broke off so easy, that is another sign that the plant has actually disconnected from the fruit already and you are no longer going to get any nutritional value added to this fruit. So it will be just as sweet and delicious ripening in the house as it will be out here. It'll just be twice as fast inside. Uh, I guess it's caterpillar season. Tomato fruit worm, where are you? Looks like it went in. I might just spray some BT inside. Yeah, that's gonna cause that fruit to be a failure, but I don't want that caterpillar to make any more caterpillars, so I better get rid of it. And that tomato hornworm that I rescued yesterday off of my tomato plant and stuck over here, look it. It ate all those leaves and it's hiding right there. See it? So it's doing just fine on this weed nightshade and it's not bothering my tomatoes so this was definitely a good decision i feel happy about making kitty are you guarding my tomatoes well excuse me but i need to steal some it's taco night and instead of buying a yucky grocery store tomato i'm just stepping out to the garden here grabbing a couple beautiful ripe cherry tomatoes to cut up to add to my tacos. I am so blessed. I am so fortunate. Look at that. And I've already eaten a couple right off the bat. Fly traps are no joke. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can tell. Super full of flies. Well, the new corn I planted is definitely coming up well. But something, probably crows, is getting to it. Pulling it right out of the ground. Yeah, so I think that's what happened to the rest of it because there's nothing in all these other rows, not one piece of corn, nothing. I don't see any, any sign of corn. I put out so much corn seed, like this is unreal. I think the best bet now would be for me to plant like a giant watermelon pumpkin patch. Like, just get all my pumpkin seeds, all my watermelon seeds, and just go up and down these rows. <sighs> it's very sad. I used all the corn seed I had been saving for just such a thing. 
Well, I mean, it, some of the corn seed definitely was old, but there would have been some germination because even my oldest sweet corn seed that I planted had sweet corn germinate. Yeah, I hope some of this takes. This is Miss Elsie's corn seed. I hope that the crows don't eat it all because there's just a couple of rows of corn at least. I watered everything in here real good the other day. And we had a good rain, so everything is surviving the heat so far. So that's good. Just all we can do is hope and pray at this point. And just do our best to keep things hydrated. It's too hot to come out here and hoe any of these weeds. Even though I know it needs to be done, I do not need a heat stroke. And that would definitely happen. I've had a history of heat strokes in my past. And I've learned how not to have it happen again. And coming out here for pulling grass out would definitely... Yeah. So, this is going to get weed eaten. It's just too much. Too much. And this is one of the... This is a big reason why I prefer growing in raised bed gardens and not in the ground. But for some things like sweet corn and okra, it's kind of hard to do in a raised bed. So... We'll see. That's, we're just doing the best we can. But, huh? No. Stop that, you. You are too young to be doing that. Oh my goodness. Maybe this variety that I planted in the very last row is an earlier variety. Because I did a different, a different type of corn for each of these rows. And then these two rows are the same. These two rows are the same. Yeah. And then this was a different pack of seed that barely germinated. Just a couple in the middle. And this was a different pack. And this was a different pack. I need to go find if I didn't throw away the packets already. This is not good. How's it going to be able to make a baby? Well, I guess it's making a baby. This one is... <sighs> I wasn't ready for that. Hmm. Big part of me wonders if it isn't this heat wave that's causing it to bloom way too early. The plants are only itty bitty. I've had that happen before with corn, and we just got itty bitty ears. <laughs> um, but I I've never grown this much corn at all so yeah we'll just see it's all an experiment right if we get some corn out of it great if not we learned what to do next time differently so gardening is always a learning experiment